Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Hey yo, this is Dash, and um, today I'm gonna talk to you about the uh, the Cambros, the food transportation. Um, I guess that's what they're considered. But what they're used for is uh, food transportation. So I have uh, two different models of Cambro, and I'm gonna talk to you quickly about them. A couple of you guys had questions about the Cambros from the series I put out uh, last week. Okay, so this is the smaller of the two Cambros that I have, and I have three Cambros all together, and this is the one style, and the other one I have two of the same style. So this particular uh, Cambro, now what the Cambros are for is to transport food either hot or cold. The last time I used this, um, I had food in here that was cold, and it'll keep food for, uh, either cold and or hot for hours. Um, so let me open it up. This particular unit has two clamps here and it has a rubber gasket to prevent leaks. Well, to, to help uh, there not to be leaks. Um, let me show you how this works inside. Okay, so it's kind of hard to envision when it's empty. So this is the easiest thing for me to do. Again, these are full uh, catering pans. And, and you can see I have one, two, three, four full pans. You have to pardon me, it seems like my pans are a little jacked up. Um, they must have gotten beat up on the way home when I brought them home from Sam's. But you can fit four full size um, catering pans in here, aluminum catering pans. So let me take these out real fast. Okay, so what we have here are half catering pans and um, this is a half catering pan. The problem with this is um, it'll fit eight of these half catering pans. Um, this one here, it really doesn't fit. It kind of fits more like this. One, two, three, four. And because these pans go in sideways, they go in uh, too deep. So you can fit eight of those in there. One word of caution, uh, because of the fact that these are not supported, if you put too much weight in here, these, they will kind of like bow up. And when they bow up, obviously the thing at the top will fall onto the thing underneath of it. To help thwart that, what you can do is mix full pans with half pans so you can get kind of like a half pan sitting on top of a full pan so there's more support underneath the half pan. Um, it's just even, even also one of the other things I've done and or do is I'll double these up. So I'll put them in like this and um, there still isn't an issue about having a doubled pan in here, you still have clearance, just so you can get an, an idea of what that looks like, all right? So this is the smaller of the two uh, Cambros that I have. Um, again, they're used for food transportation. But this Cambro, when I bought it, um, I think I bought this Cambro about three years ago. This one was right at about $200. And my plan when I bought this one, I was hoping that it would fit in the trunk of my car. I was able to put this this particular model, this particular Cambro, um, I was able to put it in the front seat of my car um, and or the back seat of my car. Um, more often than not, it typically rode in the back seat. And then of course, when my kids got into the car, I would move it up front um, so that they could sit in the back. And uh, pretty much we could go from there. Give me a couple moments or when I come back, I will have the bigger of the uh, two Cambro models I have and we'll talk about that one. Oh, actually, before I go get that one, this particular model, let me just touch and or talk about a few other different things. 
This model weighs probably 20, 25 pounds empty, right? They are heavy. Um, this one, because of the rubber gasket, does not leak or is not as prone to leaking as the other one. And um, so those are two things I like about it. I don't like, obviously, its size, but in what it's transporting, you know, size is a thing. And the handles, they are meant to nest into similar models. If you can see down at the bottom, there's a, you know, a cutout to fit another handle here. Cambros are like a lot of other things, um, especially when it comes to food service. They sell a lot of accessories for them. You can get an accessory to like, like a hot plate that'll go in between. You can get a, a cold plate that'll go in between. So you can even have hot food down at the bottom or cold food at the bottom and hot food at the top, probably because the heat rises. You can look into all those different accessories through Cambro's website. You can also look into uh, like dollies or trundles for these uh, specific um, food transport. And um, what happens is you kind of just sit this on top of that dolly and it makes it easier for you to push these around, especially if you have more than like two or three of them, they get very heavy very quickly. So with those things being said, let me go get the other one and we'll talk about that. Okay. so. Um, here is the other model Cambro, model of Cambro I have. This one is the bigger of the two. I apologize for breathing heavy. This thing is heavy and I just picked it up. So the way it closes is there is a single clasp. Okay. But the problem with this design is it grasps here. Okay. And not up here and or down here. The problem I've have I have had with this one is it leaks, which is why that towel is in there for two reasons. First reason is to help me grab a hot um, catering pans, and the second is in case anything spills inside of the Cambro, uh, it'll sop it up. So those towels stay in here, actually. All right, so let's talk about capacity. This one can fit, and you see, there's a lot of different rows for configuration. This one fits six full catering pans. And you might be asking yourself, well, why do you need two of these? I've had events where I've had this entire thing full as well as the black one also full and um, still needed more containers or more space. Um, so I've just had to kind of take things in other boxes or other things like that. So this one will fit six full-size pans. And um, let me take these out quickly and we'll talk about the half size. Before, before I forget, uh, one of the, the um, benefits or features of this particular design is it has a place, a built-in place in the molding to kind of so you can sit a full-size pan on top, all right? Now let me get the half pans. And six, six times two is 12. So you can fit 12 half pans. And again, if you're gonna be putting half pans in here, I do, recommend because of the fact that there is no support I'd recommend that you doubled those pans up just to help the pans from not bottoming out and um, collapsing on the thing underneath um, ask me how I know all right so this is the bigger of the two this one I bought off of Amazon I bought two of these off of Amazon um, again going on three years ago and um, these were closer to $300. They were actually like in the 280, 290, uh, $290 range. And I bought the first one. And then when I did the math and figured out how much food I can get into it, I ended up buying a second one uh, like the very next day or two days later once I realized um, I, was, I was not going to have enough room for what I was cooking. I had a, a really big event. It actually at the time was the biggest event I had ever done. And um, 
I realized quite quickly once I kind of figured out exactly how much meat I was going to be able to put into each pan and everything like that, that I was not going to have enough room for all of the food that I prepared. So uh, with that being said, I ordered a second Cambro and also oddly enough, I realized that I was not going to have enough storage space to, um, to store the food, you know, prepare it, prepare it, store it, and then take it to the event. So I ended up going out and buying a refrigerator in the middle of a cook. Yep, I loaded up my, uh, I have a pickup truck on my garage, loaded up the pickup truck with a dolly, found one on Craigslist, went and purchased it, brought it back home, plugged it in, and hoped that it worked for less than a hundred bucks too, which was even better. Anyway, um, this particular Cambro, um, it also has its pros and cons. The pro of this one obviously is a higher capacity. The con with the higher capacity is a higher weight. This thing dry weighs between, I think it's like 35 or 40 pounds. So it is not light by any stretch of the imagination. Just imagine putting, you know, 10, 15, well, you know, like 10 pounds or 15, but the most I've put in these pans has been 15 pounds each, okay? So there's 30, 60, 90 pounds of food that could be in here on top of the uh, 40 pounds that this thing weighs. And that is not like a stretch. The handles that are on top, you can grab one handle from one side and the other handle from the other side. They're kind of meant to be carried like by two people this way. And they work rather well. The problem is I'm a one man operation. So I typically end up carrying these myself and they do get heavy. Um, other than that, the only problem I have with this one is, and I've had it happen to me on two or three different occasions, this particular model leaks. Um, it says that it's leak proof because it has this, this little, I don't even know how to explain it, but this edge down here is supposed to go into here tightly and create a seal. It, it doesn't. So I've had this leak on me. Other than that, if you guys have any other questions about these particular Cambros, um, please let me know. I think I covered, you know, the costs of the of both of them. This particular model, like I said, it was three years ago, was rated about $300. The other model was rated about $200. Um, and if you're looking for them now, I could not find the exact model when I looked on Amazon and or in the Restaurant Depot. Cambro, uh, which is the manufacturer, has updated these particular models and you could find uh, newer models, but they're very similar. If anyone has any questions about the, uh, the Cambros, their use or, or anything else about them, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said, I wanted to talk about the Cambros because there were a couple people that had questions about them from the last video. Hey, as always, uh, thanks for watching. See you later.